Okay, in this scenario, we have a friend Bob who's going to be borrowing $5,000, and he claims he wants to pay off some bills and catch up on some car payments. He goes to the bank and they offer him a discount loan with an advertised rate of 7.5%. And for this video, what we're going to say is that you know this is going to be simple interest rate that's quoted. So we're not going to be doing any uh, compounding with this scenario. And so they say, well, we'll give you a discount loan. It's got a rate of 7.5%, and it's for a period of two years. So we, we'll lend you the money, and in two years' time, you're going to pay us back uh, a total of $5,000, is the way the loan works. So you want to help Bob uh, explain what a uh, discounted loan represents. And so a discounted loan, what it really does is says, okay, you set up a loan for a value, of, uh, in this case Bob's $5,000, and the bank isn't going to give you $5,000 right at the beginning. What they're going to calculate is the interest that that $5,000 would have earned the bank, and they're going to deduct that right off the bat. And so the discounted loan means they're going to discount that interest off that initial principal and pay you that difference. And so in essence what you have is a smaller loan value and what the $5,000 represents is what you're going to pay the bank back after a time period. So in our case that time period was two years. So we want to show Bob what's the net amount I'm going to, he's going to receive uh, with this discounted loan. And because we're not really starting with $5,000 and paying back in two years uh, a given value, we're starting with this smaller uh, value and paying 5000 into the future, what rate of interest, simple interest in this case, would take that money they gave us and grow to 5000 in a two year time period? Because that's the actual interest rate he's paying on the loan, not this advertised 7.5%. So we're going to take a look at those scenarios and uh, figure out what is that net amount he received and what is the actual interest rate he's paying. Because maybe he had another choice from another bank that said, you know, We'll give you an 8% loan for two years, but it's not a discounted loan. And a 7.5% looks more appealing because it's a lower percentage rate that he's paying uh, at first glance. So this will allow him to make a better decision if he has to compare uh, multiple loan agreements from different banks. Or maybe even different options that the bank is offering him. So what is that uh, net amount he's going to receive? Well, what we have to look at is, well, they're going to look at the 5000 over a two-year period at this rate. That's the interest they're going to charge. So we know for simple interest that interest equals to the principal times the rate times the time. And so again, this is only for that simple interest calculation. So what's the interest on this $5,000 at 7.5% for two years? Well, that's going to be 5000 Convert the percentage to a decimal so that we can multiply. And our time was for two years. So when we put this into a calculator, we'll find that the interest is $750. And so we actually give this a name. This is going to be what's called the loan discount. So what's going to happen is that $5,000 is going to be discounted by $750. And so Bob is actually given, so Bob receives the $5,000 minus the loan discount. So in this case, that $5,000 minus $750 says that he's going to get $4,250 from the bank at the start of this two-year period that uh, agreement that he reached with the bank. So the bank will give him $4,250 and the loan says that in two years time you're going to have to pay us back a total of $5,000. Now what was the actual rate of money for this loan? The, the, the loan's actual interest rate would be how what interest rate takes, in this case simple interest, this 4250 to grow into 5000 in two years. It's not 7.5%. 
And so if he's comparing between different loan options, he would like to be able to compare the same interest rate directly to each other. And so the discount loan rate that's given to you isn't really the same type of interest rate if he had done a more traditional loan. And so we want to figure out what that traditional rate would look like. So in our case, we can uh, do this in one of two ways. We could look back at this formula for I equals PRT, or we can remember for uh, simple interest that the uh, future value, we call that A, would be P times 1 plus RT, where P is the principal of the loan. And so he's starting with $4,250. And he's going to pay the bank $5,000 in two years. What's the rate he's paying for this option? What rate is he paying for this loan? So he's starting with $4,250 in two years, so the time is two. And he ends with $5,000. What is that rate? We just need to solve this linear equation. So solving for R, I'm going to divide both sides by $4,250. So we have our 5,000 divided by 4,250 equals to 1 plus 2R. And well, I need to subtract 1 from both sides, so we're going to take 5,000 divided by 4,250, subtract 1. That's my left-hand side equals to 2R. And then I need to divide through both sides of the equation by 2. So 5,000 over our 4,250 minus 1 that whole expression is divided by 2. And that's the rate of interest that we're going to end up with. So if we bring this into our calculator, so I'm going to take 5,000 divided by 4250. That answer, subtract 1 from it, and then we're going to divide that by 2. So I'm just following the order of operations there. And that tells me that R is um, 0 0.08823. So R is approximately 0 0.08823. Or the annual rate is 8.823%. Per, so if he was to be comparing this to, say, a traditional loan, and he decided, well, 7.5% looks lower than like a loan that was 8%, he may have run across the wrong decision in that he's actually paying a higher interest rate than that traditional loan would have been. So the reason we're looking at this is so that we can make a more educated decision when we have to do a comparison between different loan products. So we can tell Bob, you know, they say that they're lending you $5,000, but in truth, they are actually going to be lending you $4,250, and the rate is 8.823%. So this may help Bob in the future make better decisions about which type of loan product to use.